What's up Carpenters? Uh, Savani Crap to everybody! In this second and final episode of my Creative Thoughts series, I'm going through completing my project of building three carbide tip chisels for my hood lathe. If you are interested in how I ended up to this point, above my head web link to the first episode of this series. Before jumping to it, please subscribe to my channel if you think I deserve it, of course, and ring the bell for future videos notification. And now, without any further ado, let's to build some and uh, let's to have fun with! Let's uh, proceed now with the round carbide tip tool. All the steps involved are exactly the same as the one shown for the fabrication of the square carbide tool. The only exception is the round profile shown in my sketch. I hope that is making sense. With uh, a dremel and a round stone, I give the round shape that I refine with a fine toothed file. Exactly as I did with the square shape carbide blade tool, I just rounded the tool tip and also my round carbide blade chisel is ready. Third and final chisel, the diamond shape one. All the fabrication steps are exactly the same as the one shown for the square shape carbide blade chisel, except for the chisel tip shape that obviously must be as a diamond. In my sketch, hope it makes sense, the tip areas that must be removed. Now that all three main chisel bodies are done, let's do the handle. I just bought a mini hood lathe to turn fishing lure blanks. If you are interested in a review about, above my head web link to the related video. The mini lathe maximum working length is 30 cm, enough to make chisel handles. So let's turn some timber. And uh, this is uh, also the occasion to put my chisels for the first time at work. My chisels were made with mild steel. Indeed, I gave a couple of protection paint coats with the black enamel. 
I decided to build my own carbide lathe chisel set for different reasons. First off, a set of traditional lathe chisel is really expensive. Due to the complex shape, traditional, traditional chisels must be forged, that is too complicated, at least to me. On the contrary, carbide tip chisels are easy to build, as you can see, and most important, are much more user-friendly. Late uh, traditional chisels come with many different tips. More important, uh, they take skill, take a learning process of months at least. They are much uh, less unforgiving than carbide tip chisels. On the contrary, carbide tip chisels come with three, maximum four tip shapes and they are much more user-friendly, much more easy to learn. For these reasons, I decided to go with the carbide tip plate chisels instead of the traditional one. Now that uh, all three handles uh, are turned and done, I proceed by shaping, giving a roughly round shape to my chisel body's part that is going to, to fit the handle. Let's drill the handle now. Unfortunately, I own a small drill press. It can fit a long drill bit uh, like this one. Indeed, I must drill the hole by bare hand, and this is not ideal at all. I try to lean my drill bit as straight as possible, uh, and I hope I end up with a precise straight hole. Let's drill! I'm proceeding now by refining the hole that I just drilled with a square shaped tip that is going to hold my tool firmly in place.
to assemble all together I'm uh, using a fast cure uh, epoxy resin. Final step of the project. I like to protect my handle tools with the natural products, such as timber oil, in this case I'm using a thick oil, or furniture wax that I made myself with honey wax, denaturated alcohol and thick oil. Natural oil or wax are the perfect solutions when it comes for timber protection. So, my carbide tip chisels are done. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you soon in the next uh, series episode.